Today I'm reviewing five atomizers that I've used so you don't have to shop around. And if you want to save some time, this is the one that I recommend. This is the winner. It gets 38 points out of 40. It's called the Travalo Milano. Uh, if you want to know more about these ones, then keep on watching. Support the channel. Right, let's get started. So, the first thing I've got to comment on is the design. So it's very compact, it's very light. Uh, there's a little window at the front so you can see how much perfume you have left. Uh, when you take off the lid, plastic uh, pump action here. It feels quite plasticky, quite cheap. It was. And on the bottom, this is how you refill them. So you take your, uh, your perfume, your cologne, whatever you like, take the lid off the top, take that bottom bit, and then we're gonna pump it straight into the uh, atomizer. So you'll see that level go up. When you've pumped enough in, you're ready to rock and roll. Overall design, I, th I mean, it, it feels a bit cheap and clunky, so I'm gonna give it a two out of 10 <coughs> for design. The next thing is the lid security. Now this sounds like a petty thing, however, lid security is really important for me, because if this uh, is in my bag or in my pocket and the lid comes off and it starts pumping everywhere, then I'm gonna get stuff covered in this and I don't want it to. It's a little bit tight, but as soon as it kind of comes off, then it's just gonna fall straight off. Uh, so lid security, I'm gonna give like a six. It's relatively secure but there is a chance that that lid could come off. Next is the spray. What kind of coverage do we get? That's pretty crappy. Uh, I, to be fair, I have had this for a little while, but that was more like a jet than a spray. My wrists are absolutely covered. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a five out of 10. It was all right, it works. Next up is leakage. Now for leakage, I've had this for a little while and this, this bottom piece here, because of the way it fills up, it, this doesn't feel particularly well made. Uh, I think it's going to leak, and, and if, you, if you tap it hard enough, you can feel the liquid coming out. So uh, I'm going to give that like a 4 for leakage. In total, that's 17 out of a possible 40 points for the Travalo GP. Next up is this one. This is Juliet Has a Gun. The design is amazing. I absolutely love this. Juliet Has a Gun. This is a bullet. Very cool. It's heavy, it feels sturdy, and it just feels cool. Like having this in your bag or in your pocket, it just feels like a cool item to have. Next up is a lid security. Um, it's pretty secure actually. It kind of clips, it kind of clips down. It's quite secure, it's not gonna fall off too easily. Seven for lid security, okay. How does this fill up? Well, what happens is you unscrew the top of this one, which then reveals Right, well, it's very broken. It won't unscrew, but essentially you unscrew that and then you place... You essentially unscrew uh, this thing, which it won't today because it's broken, and you put this little uh, little funnel in the top and then you spray your spray. There'll be another one that does this, you'll see. Spray. Now, <clears throat> for making this video, I actually discovered that this is actually broken, uh, which is one reason why it's gonna score badly on spray. Um, while it was working, it was just like a jet, and I figured out what happened. For this video, I emptied it out, and there was something rattling inside, and there's pieces of glass, and what's happened is the vial inside is made of glass, and it shattered somehow. I don't know how, because there's no kind of damage done to this at all, so it must have been dropped, I don't know, in a bag or in a pocket, it must have been knocked or something, and the vial inside is shattered and, and smashed, which meant it was leaking as well. So. For spray coverage, I'm gonna give it a one, and for leaking, it's getting a one as well. Uh, but design, very good. Juliet has a gun. If you make this with a plastic vial inside, and it's bad for the environment, or change the design so it can hold a glass one without shattering everywhere, thank you, um, then I would score this really highly. But for this video, it gets 20 out of a possible 40 points. No, oh, what a shame. What a shame. But next, we have this one. Talking of lid security, uh, it's got the word flow on the front, that might be the brand. I bought it from a perfume shop, don't know. But design wise, it's chunky, feels okay in the hand. It's a little bit fatter than the Travalo Cheapy. Not as heavy as the Juliet Has A Gun. So there you go, just for comparison. Uh, this has two caps, there's a top cap here. And this one unscrews back here with a little refill bit, which we'll come back to later. Very exciting. I'm gonna give it a three out of a possible 10 for design. Uh, next up is lid security. So with this one, you literally, I mean, there are little bubbles. I don't know if you can see this, but you can see there's little notches around the edge, which in theory 
should secure the lid. However, that it doesn't work. Uh, Cause I've just got to nudge that and then that's free. And then where are you? You're in a pocket full of perfume. Uh, so it's not gonna be great. So lid security, I'm gonna give that a two. It's pretty poor. This is how you refill it, by the way. This pulls back and then this kind of smooshes onto the, uh, onto the thing. That goes in there. Screw this back on. In theory, we're good to go. That's how it refills. Next up is the spray. And uh, that's a pretty good spray. Don't know if you saw that coverage. It's a fine spray. That's a seven for that spray. It's a very good spray. I like that one. And for leakage, I don't think this one's ever leaked. So that feels secure. Tightening that up feels secure. Um, I think if you were to undo this, it, it would just all fall out. So you need to be mindful of that when you're with, when you're using this one. You need to turn it upside down before you unscrew it. Um, but leakage wise, once it's all screwed up and tied up, 10 out of 10. Hasn't leaked yet. So uh, that scores a 22 out of a possible 40. Next up we have this one. This is the nondescript gold one. So the design, it's compact. It's slightly, slightly chunkier and can probably hold up a bigger volume than the cheapie. There we go. There's a little vial in there. So you get the idea. I mean, maybe it's about the same. I, th I get the feeling you can hold more, more in this one than you would in the cheapie. Feels pretty sturdy. This is, that's glass. That's a glass vial in there. Hasn't broken. Juliet has a gun. Noted. I've had this one for a long while. I think I picked it up from a perfume shop and uh, yeah, it's done me very well. So design wise, this gets a five out of a possible 10. Secure lid. This feels secure. So you see how uh, this piece is quite long. So if it does get knocked in your pocket, that lid isn't coming off yet until it gets to kind of near the edge and then it's going to fall off. So lid security, I'm going to give maybe a six. Next up is the spray. That's going to get an 8 out of 10 from me. Uh, and leakage wise, this has never leaked. And I think that's because of the design. Um, and by the way, the way this fills up is you take this, uh, this piece off here. That unscrews. So you've got this little vial. And then this goes in like that. And you're going to kind of position the funnel over the uh, spray piece. And it just kind of squirts straight in. until it's fill up and that's how you uh, that's how you fill it up. I do recommend give that a little tap, chuck that back on and then you have some residue in here that you can then tap on your wrists. There you go. Mix up with all the other perfumes I've just put on that wrist. Leakage wise that gets a, a 10. Altogether that's 29 out of 40. And finally we have the Travalo Milano. Here they are close up. Uh, we're gonna start off with the design. First of all, they feel like a proper item. They feel heavy. You know, they feel kind of like expensive. They're on par with the Juliet has a gun in weight. They weigh about the same. Um, there's this kind of faux leather kind of uh, texture to the, the casing. Um, and there's flat edges here, so you can stand it up on either end and you can kind of play with it in your hand and it feels just like a nice object to handle. Uh, if you take off the lid, there's this kind of magnetic feeling as you pull this off. So I, I'm not sure whether it is magnetic or it's just the design makes it feel magnetic. But as you push this on, it just kind of feels like it clamps together. This is what it looks like when it's naked, the naked atomizer. Um, so yeah, all in all, I think that deserves a nine out of 10 for design. Lid security, it's one of the top things in here. And I think this is probably the securest lid of the lot. It doesn't screw on, uh, but it does just, it just pushes back on. And this, if this gets knocked in your bag, well, I'm gonna down that a few points. If this gets knocked in your pocket or your bag at the wrong angle, then yes, it will come off. Um, I, I actually, I did have it down as a nine, but since that just fell off then, I'm gonna bump it down to an eight. So we're gonna go eight for lid security. Next up is the spray. See how fine that spray is. It's got huge coverage, excellent spray. And it's like a mist. It sits in the air for a while. Spray wise, that is a 10 out of 10. Massive mist. 
nice big amount so you've got to cover the area you don't need to keep on spraying and yeah very good quality spray there so that's 10 out of 10 for spray leakage this has never leaked uh, this is the, the design it's the similar design to uh, this one the cheapy one so Travalo have kept that design however uh, I think they've updated this valve here so whatever they've done to this it's never leaked let's fill this up shall we uh, pops off there like that uh, okay it's a little bit of residue but after that if I hit it well, maybe some comes out then again you're not supposed to do that are you so uh, yeah again leakage never leaked I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 I think I prefer the vial design uh, with a little glass piece just for security reasons um, but all in all I mean for practicality wise barely any effort needs to go to filling that up so all in all that is 37 out of a possible 40 this is the winner this is why I have two of them in my personal collection and uh, this is what the packaging looks like for those that want to buy one this is the Travalo Milano so that's it that's my review of five atomizers that I've used so you don't have to go for the shopping go for the Travalo Milano you can't go wrong if you like this video go ahead and check this one out and support the channel by hitting subscribe I'll catch you in a bit